Praise the Lord. Welcome to Kingdom News Now. We are so glad that you joined us for another program tonight. We are excited to bring you this program. This is the end of the year, going into a brand new year, and we are excited about what we know and believe that God has for us. Sitting here on the set with me, of course, is my beautiful wife, Lisa Dilday, back with us today. It's been a while since you've been back on the program. Honored to be here. Amen. We always enjoy it when... Uh, when she's able to be here with us and, and such. And so uh, we just, I, I do my best just to let her take it and do it uh, for the most part because she's much smarter than I am. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyway, we're glad that you joined us today. And we're, we want to tell you and say to you, Happy New Year yes. from Kingdom News Now. Uh, we've got just a couple days left in this year of 2023. And we are excited about what God has in store. That's for 24. Why, that's why I said yes. I wanted to be on this program so that we could pray a blessing on those that yes. are watching and that we could talk about how to set ourselves in the right place Amen. to receive and to be ready to do whatever God wants done in 2024. Amen. I'm excited about what's ahead of us. Amen. 2023 has been a year of challenge. It has been. For us. It has, it has been. Um, God's done some great things God's, in 23. God's given us victory, one triumph after right. another right. one. And we've been very blessed this year. So it's been a year of blessing and a year of challenges. Um, but, you know, I read one time in a, in a book by um, Lester Summerall. I, I thought, God, what is, is this unique to us? Do you just go out of one trial and... and yeah have a refresher and a breather for a few days and then another and trial another shows one. up and I thought something was wrong with us because we were having <laughs> to to fight that battle but I read in Lester Summerall's book that that is the that's the spirit filled Amen. life Amen. whenever you're fighting the enemy to loose those who are in bondage and to share the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ you're going to fight a battle yes. and you have to be ready for that and in fact Pastor Parsley taught us Amen. that that we're actually created for the battle. Amen. That's that's exactly right. That he's equipped us. We are built for the battle is what he always said. He, yes, we're built for the battle. So we just need to be ready for whatever is ahead of us. I know that, that there are a lot of challenges in the world today. I just spoke today to my grandson who uh, is in the services and he is stationed or, or was stationed right at Fort Campbell and right north of of Nashville in that area. Mm -hmm. And I hadn't been able to make contact with him for the last few days since the tornado hit there. And he texted, he checked in safe yesterday. And then today he texted me. He said, our service has been down and I haven't been able to reach you, but I'm okay. He said it went Amen. right next, just down the road from my house, Amen. but it missed us completely and we're okay. And I, I just thank God, I don't take those things for That's granted. Right. That's right. Our prayers are answered. The blood of Jesus is over our family because we pray that the blood of Jesus is over him. And Amen. whatever challenge the new year brings, it will bring the victory Amen. that follows the challenge yes. if we'll trust yes. God Amen. and look to him for everything we need. Amen. You know, it's been a while since you've been on the program, but uh, I, do want you, I do want you to know at home and wherever you're watching this program from that that she's not just sitting at home doing nothing. Uh, you know, she does a lot of work here behind the scenes here at Kingdom News and, and such and helping us in the control room and different things and, and, and such. And so, uh, but I love for her to uh, be on the program with us because number one, you just experienced about 60 seconds or 90 <laughs> seconds of what I enjoy and that's listening to her share from her heart. Amen. And she does that very well. In fact, I think she does it better than I do. But, you know, somebody's got to do it. So I, I'm stuck. You're stuck with me every week. No. But anyway, uh, we do, we're excited about what God has done in 23. Like you said, he's done many great things yes. in 2023. Yes. We're in our brand new studio Absolutely. this year. Absolutely. This is one of the biggest blessings Amen. we've had Amen. this year. And, and, you know, at times it looked like it was impossible. It wasn't going to come yep. to pass. And we yep. ran up against you know, a few obstacles here and then making decisions and, 
and God has totally blessed us with this facility, Amen. the the images and the, the audio and, and the wonderful technicians who yes. have really encouraged and strengthened the program because yes. we can do so much more than we could do before. Amen. We're so grateful that every one of us have the opportunity to use this avenue as a tool Amen. to put in God's hands. We don't Amen. know how he's going to take it and run to the nations with it, but we know that he's going to because he's faithful to, to bless Amen. us and to have us here. Amen. We are already reaching into 83 of the nations That's awesome. across the world today. And in fact, right now, we are airing in Israel. We're airing yes. in Saudi Arabia. We're airing in, in uh, Poland. We're airing, airing in uh, everywhere. <laughs> Iraq, 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 Iran, uh, all of those countries <laughs> all through there. Africa, Kenya, all through there, uh, all through Western Europe. And, uh, and so God has blessed us tremendously to be able to do what we're doing here, all coming from the huge metropolis of Anderson, <laughs> Missouri. <laughs> it's the perfect place. It's the perfect place. And the truth is, at the, at the end of the year, we always look back at yes. how prosperous we were, how yes. productive we were, what did we meet the goals that we had for the year. But we always use that as a springboard yes. for the next year. How do we want to launch into the next year and we're looking at a bigger vision than yeah, that absolutely that vision for all of those nations was tremendous to us when we oh when my. we started doing that but our pastor has enlarged that Amen. vision to every nation in the world Amen. he wants an a, a opportunity or an ability to get programming yes. in every nation, every nation in the world. And with technology today, we can do it. That's right. We can do Amen. it, even from a small place in in Missouri. Right. Where, you know, we're we're hidden here, maybe. Yes. But God knows exactly where we are, and he knows exactly how to send out the message that, that you need to hear. And if you're listening from one of those nations, if you're listening from some distant place, I just want you to know today that Jesus loves you. Amen. And he wants you to be free. Yes. And nothing, nothing should bind you when you're in Christ. Amen. If, and we just have to work not to let ourselves get under anything because he's paid the price for you. He's gone out and sent messages and words and, and ways for you to know the truth Amen. about the gospel. And we are honored. Amen. Truthfully, you know, honored to be able to do this. You mentioned our pastor. Of course, he's here in the studio with us tonight <laughs> uh, as we're recording this. As he is quite often, not every week, but often he, he slips in with us. And, and we appreciate that, uh, him supporting us and being here with us with Kingdom News. Um, but we, because we know his heart right. uh, is to take the gospel to the world. Right. Throughout missions, uh, missions in general, just anywhere, whatever country, whatever door will open up, uh, that, that God will open that door up. In fact, all the way to the point because of COVID back a few years ago, he wasn't able to travel. He had traveled for many years. I'm just going to tell off on him a little bit. All right. He, he, <laughs> he traveled for many years. And I tra we traveled together uh, a few years ago, several trips and, and things that we made across the world, trips we made. But then COVID hit, and he wasn't able to travel like he had been used to traveling. So when we opened the studio here, we told him, look, you look into that camera, and you're going to go all over the world. Yeah. And he loves to fly. We love to fly. We love to get on the plane and, and take off and go. Right. You know, we love to put, set our feet on foreign soil. Uh, to us and, and such and so on. Amen. Wherever we, Amen. Wherever we step. So what we did is we went and purchased a small airplane. <laughs> when I say small, I'm talking a small airplane <laughs> that sits right there on top of that camera I'm looking at so that when he looks into that camera, he can see that plane that's carrying him all across the world. <laughs> it's Amen. a different way to travel yes. to the nations, but we definitely can get him there through Amen. that camera. And it's like the Ark of the Covenant. Absolutely it is. It carries the anointing yes. that God has invested in us and invested in him Amen. And, and the team here. And it carries that anointing across the, the waves for, for people to see and hear the gospel. There's never been a more exciting time to be Amen. alive. 
I know that, that there's some, some rough situations sure. in, in the lives of people, but I also know that there is hope where sin abounds, grace much yes, more abounds. Yes, yes. And the enemy cannot overcome as long as we stand on the word of God Amen. and we release that word into our situation and Amen. our atmosphere. Amen. As he releases, as we release the word, yes. as he sits here and releases the word from time to time and, and is traveling all across the world from sitting right here on the set. Right. Uh, but we know he's going to put his feet back on another plane. Mm -hmm. He, he will. He, he's going yes. to put his feet back on another plane and travel across the world in the natural realm. Yeah as well as uh, the, the video world, amen, and so, but anyway, we want to share <laughs> a little bit, like I said, we, we opened up our brand new studio in 23, and uh, God has been tremendously good to us since then, yeah. and even before then, He was good to us, yeah. uh, you know, there has been challenges throughout this year for us personally, uh, not us personally, <laughs> but for <laughs> our home or our ministry or all, you know, together, and, uh, Our daughter had a baby that was yes. uh, barely a pound, yes. and he is beautiful today. Jack will have to find a picture to put up for you, but he is beautiful. Amen. He's healthy. He's smiling ear to ear, Amen. and just and chunky as he can be. <laughs> just blessing our lives. He weighed he weighed one pound and ten and a half ounces when yes. he was born in February, and right now he's right at twenty pounds. Yes. So so God has blessed him. And he's yeah. blessed our daughter and her family uh, and such. And this is her second, this is her third child to be preemie. Yes. And hopefully and God's been faithful. her last. <laughs> <laughs> but it's taken a lot of faith to get has. those boys here. It so. has. So anyway, uh, but like I said, you know, God has blessed us. He's blessing them. He's blessing all our other children and such. And, and like you said, you'd heard from Michael, our grandson yeah. uh, today. And, and they just my, had that. My mother mm -hmm. um, also, I, I wanted to mention that. Uh, my parents both had serious health issues yes. throughout this year, and my mother went on to be with the Lord back early in the year. And she and I had had some issues that I was believing God for a breakthrough before she passed. And she took her hands and put on Amen. her on my face and looked at me and said, Sis, I love you so much. Amen. And it just broke. Everything, every word, every, you know, issue that we had been through, I knew that moment that the Lord had honored my prayer. Yes. And he was taking her home and taking her out of a painful situation. And and I was able to just release her. Amen. And it, it was a blessing, not, not yeah. like most people would think the loss of a parent. It's a hard thing. And it was that in a sense. but. Right. There was such a victory just yes. the day before she passed that I knew I had total peace from that moment forward that, that she knew I loved her with all of my heart and I wanted her to accept that and Amen. she had done that. And then my dad had a serious yes. event this year. He had a surgery that lasted six months before yes. he recovered. I was Amen. not here part and was, of the time. was literally supposed to be just a few days long. Right. They promised him, but, but it didn't turn out no. quite the way they intended. No. And he, he is in the studio tonight yes. and, have him and has us. moved in and is living with us. And that's a tremendous blessing Amen. for me to get a share this time in his life and for us to get to spend it for him to recover to the, to the point he couldn't walk. He couldn't, there was just so sure. much. And now he's able to walk and get around on his own and, and visit with us and help yes. us to to figure out how to build things and to do things which he has years and years of experience. Right. I'm just telling you, God loves family. Amen. And he loves Amen. your family and he is in the restoration yes. business. And so we've seen many victories this year and I, I am excited that 2024 Amen. is going to hold even bigger yes. and better uh, blessings for, for our family. Amen. You know, we are good friends uh, with a fellow from Richmond, Indiana. Several. No, not Richmond. Uh, several Columbus, good Indiana. In Indiana. Yes, we have several, <laughs> several good friends all across the whole state of Indiana. But Brother Eric Burton uh, is a good friend of ours from Columbus, Indiana. His dad pastors uh, Northview Assembly of God Church there, Brother 
uh, Randall Burton, and, and Eric is like an associate pastor with him, but he also travels. But Eric is a is a studied student yeah. <laughs> of the Hebrew uh, numerology, language and, the and the numerology of it and the, the language, the Hebrew Gematria language, the... and, and that and Greek both together. Yeah. And, and uh, you'll see a link pop up here in just a little bit uh, on the screen that you can contact Brother Eric Burton and, and listen to some of his teachings and such. Uh, he's all over YouTube. Uh, he's got his own the, uh, groundbreakers groundbreakingministries.org, I believe it is, but it'll be up on the screen, and the right answer, the right website, web address will be on the screen. <laughs> but uh, uh, we want to share just something that he was teaching on the other day that, that I'm not a studied scholar on, right. and, and we haven't been, but I love it. It's something that's interesting to me, and, and that is um, this new year, uh, Jerusalem, in, in Israel, Jerusalem and, and so on, in Israel, they began their new year in September yes. of this year. And uh, we will begin ours just like day after tomorrow right. and, uh, and such. And so, but I always like to look at, at the meaning because in the uh, Hebrew, uh, the Jewish calendar, always their numbers have meanings. Yes. You know, our numbers have meanings. They put great like, weight on the like word. Number three means three. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what our meanings are. <laughs> you know, but their their numbers have lots of meanings. So uh, what year is it in it, Israel? In Israel, it is 5784. 5784. Now, yes, it, it turned 5784 in Israel back in September. Okay. And we're going to go into 2024 in just the next few hours. And... Uh, and so I don't know what the difference in the years is with that, neither here nor there, but uh, it is the same year according to their calendar and such. And so we're going into 50, they're in 5784, and that in 5780, and we did a couple programs on this if I remember correctly, uh, 5780 was the year of pay. Uh, it, it was the year of the mouth. Right. It was the decade of the mouth. So we're still in that decade. Yes. 5780 till 5789 will be the decade of the mouth. What we say is important. Uh, and you know, we're still in that decade. We're still in that decade. We're only in the, this will be the fourth year yes. of that decade. So we, we focused on mm -hmm. the mouth and what that meant and what the power that's in your mouth. Life and death is in the power of your words. Amen. And so as they turned through that year, it became more important to focus. Yes, absolutely, because 5780 was the year of the mouth, which was our 2020. Mm -hmm. Well, we all know what happened in 2020. Mm -hmm. They did their best to shut us up. To shut our mouth. Amen, to shut our mouth, <laughs> you know, right. with the, with the, uh, the masks and stuff and, and to muzzle the church. Yeah. And uh, that's exactly what they did now. Somebody can say, well, you know, that was just coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences. Mm -mm. You know, I believe it was a word of God, amen, that God was showing and proving to the, for their true church. Not everybody that sits on a church pew is part, of the, is part of the remnant church. But for the remnant body of Christ, that they would speak up even when everybody else was against it. Mm -hmm. You know, and so we've come through 2020 with that. Uh, we all know churches paid a huge price for that. Yes. Uh, we did. But we also know that we come out with victory. Right. The, the true remnant church came out with victory. So we're going into 5784, which is our 2024. And this year is the year of the door. Now, the number, four. the number four goes along with that. The 5784 is the year of the door. Now, there's another, uh, I want to say definition, but that's not really the right word, uh, explanation for the number four and that is uh authority mm -hmm. you know it means authority and so so we uh, have that authority but going into 5784 going into 2024 is the year of the door now several and i've seen this all all online i've heard different ones talking about it uh but i don't know that i agree with part of their interpretation of it because because many folks will say this is the year of the open door well we all know that doors swing both ways. That's right. You know, we all know that there's some doors. The purpose of the door is to be closed or to be open. Mm -hmm. It's a, to enter into something or to exit from somewhere. And, and so it swings both ways. So I don't believe it's just the year of the open door. I believe it's the year of the door. 
God's going to close some doors in 2024 yeah. as well as open some doors. And uh, he, the doors that he closes, that's not, that's not a... Not a bad thing. Uh, depressing or no. a bad no. uh, message to the people who hear that. It A closed door is sometimes the greatest thing that could happen Amen. to you. Sometimes you would never walk through the right open door until the That's closed right. door. Sometimes the doors close to hold the predators outside yes. to protect you inside of those doors. And so God is causing Amen. doors to open and close. You know, that sounds Amen. like he's realigning those Absolutely. that are posted at the gate. Absolutely. He is setting things in order. And yes. it, as Jack said, it's the number four. And the number four uh, is authority as well as the word door. So we're going to be looking for new doors. Yes. I believe that the body of Christ is going to see things in the spirit realm and sit things done in the church that are going to just blow our minds. Amen. I believe that God is going to show up and show out. So Amen. much that's gone on in the world in the last few years has been as though God isn't there. Right. As though the things he's warned us against were false warnings, that nothing was going to happen, that there was no judgment for anyone. But the truth is we'll all stand on yes. the day of judgment. And yes. I believe that the mercy of God is going to reveal his power Amen. in this hour. And I think the year 2024 is a year for us to get in that place. Amen. Wherever Amen. that door opens or wherever that door closes, we need to have our hearts and our ears open to the spirit of God and be ready to say, yes, Lord. Amen. It's such an honor for the Lord to, to even rebuke us, Jack, right. whenever he says, repent for something. And, you know, he's been showing me some, some things on the inside of me that I don't want there. And he's helping me to overcome those things. It's a good thing. Repentance is a wonderful opportunity. Yes. If we couldn't repent and change Amen. our mind, we would be, we would be stuck in a place. Amen where sin would be attached to us and we couldn't be free. It's the goodness of God that leads us to repentance. Yes. It's and a good so thing. repentance and falling at his feet and saying, Lord, I'm, I'm through trying to do this my, my way. Come on. I'm through trying to do... I, I, listen to me, church. This is a word to the body Amen. of Christ. I'm through trying to make it all work, trying to... Make it make it ha happen for everybody. We, if we can't have the true glory and the, the <coughs> vision Excuse of me. God in the church, we'll just fake it. We'll just entertain people. We'll just do all of these things and call it ourselves a church. But the power is not there. Come on. And we need to be honest with ourselves. Is the power operating in our lives? Because we need it. In this hour, there are lives that are laying at stake yes. out there waiting for someone to raise up and declare the word of God that they can be free. I don't, I, it doesn't matter what label the world has put That's on right. you. I want you to know that everything from PTSD to, to AIDS to ev everything out there has a name. It's subject to the spirit and the That's word right. of God. Amen. Every name. His name is above every single name and no Amen. matter what label you've been labeled with Amen. God has labeled you free Amen. he has labeled you as his child he has wooed you and, and wanted you to come into him and lay down all of those burdens and yes. I, that's the main thing that we want to say for 2024 Amen. let's stop carrying the weight in ourselves come on. church come on. let's trust God to show up and show out and use us to do it. He has a thing to say and he has to have you to say it. Yes. He has a thing to perform, but he needs you to be obedient in order to, to bring that thing to pass. Amen. So today you're not watching this by mistake. God has led you to this place to hear this, this challenge Amen. to the church. Yes. Yes. Let's step, step up and step through the door. Amen. In 2024. Amen. Let's step through that door. Many of us step through the door and we sit in the back of the church on the back row Come on. because we're afraid we'll get too too involved in something going on. Come on. 
God wants us to step through that door with our back straight, with our forehead firm as flint, and just face what's in front of us with the word and the sword of God. Amen. Knowing that it's way too much for us, but it's nothing for God Amen. to take care of everything that you have to face. I challenge you. She done, she done went there. So I challenge you, if you go to your church Sunday morning and you normally sit on the back seat or you normally sit toward the back, I challenge you, go to the front. Blow your pastor's mind. <laughs> Just go sit down on the front row or the second row. Amen. And then amen him a few yes. times. He'll yes. preach better. I promise amen. you he will. <laughs> and maybe the better he preaches, the quicker he preaches and you get out earlier. <laughs> See, that's incentive for you to move to the front. <laughs> or maybe the glory will fall and you'll be there till midnight. Yeah, that, that might work too. That might happen. Amen. But but I want I want you to take just a couple minutes, babe, to pray for those that's watching. We got just about two minutes left. Father God, we thank you that you are a faithful yes. God. And that you attend to your word. You are so concerned with every yes, detail, Lord. Father God, that, that concerns us. Our heart's concerns are your concerns. You share those things with us. And Father, you bring us victory through every single trial. Yes. Lord, we thank you that thank you, we Jesus. can have the hope that comes from you alone. We can have the peace that comes from you alone. Lord God, I pray for the people that are watching today. Yes, Lord. Father, Each the things that are, are tied up in, in their lives, Father God, and the yes, confusion Lord. that tries to, to wrap up them up, Father God, and the indecisiveness, you, Father. Father, that keeps them from committing 100%. Father, I thank you that you said you were moved with compassion. Yes. And so you touched the lives of people. Father, my heart is full today with compassion for those Thank who are struggling. Jesus. Father God, and I know that you are touching them wherever they are. There's no distance yes. between us and them, between you and them, Father God. Amen. We bless yes, you. Lord. We thank, thank you, you Father. Father. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. name, amen. Amen. If you was blessed by that prayer, I want you to get on the phone. I want you to call the number that's on the screen. I want you to text us, email us, whatever it is you need to do to contact us. Uh, let us hear from you. Let us know um, what Kingdom News Now means to you. Let us, let us know what this program today has meant to you. And know that we are praying for you. We thank every one of our partners for 2023. Of those of you that have stood with us, those of you that has helped us financially, those of you that has prayed for us, we thank you so much. And we're looking forward to a great 2024 with you. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, we're excited again, amen, to know that this is the year of the door that God has planned for you and I. Amen. So uh, remember, from Kingdom News Now, we're saying Happy New Year. Happy New Year. To you. Amen. And so until we see you again, let's tell them what time it is. <laughs> it's, it's time, time to, to testify. testify. Amen. God bless you.